Hi, Dave Parody of thinkoutsidetheslide.com here. I want to show you a quick demonstration of how you can use Amazon's Story Builder tool to create an outline for your presentation. And it all starts, I've signed in to my Amazon Studios account and uh, these accounts are free, it doesn't cost you anything. You can use the same account that you're using for other Amazon services like buying your ebook. So many of you already have that sort of an account. So when you sign in, you, you come to this screen and you can either start a new cork board or resume one that you've already got. So I'm going to show you how we can start a new cork board. And uh, when you click on that button, um, it says, okay, so what is this about? So um, you can uh, title the project, you can give the cork board a specific title. So what we're going to do is, is this presentation is going to be about um, approval of a new service. So we're, we're looking for executive approval for a new service that we want to launch. Now we can uh, set up what the story is about if we want, but when you're setting up a presentation, we're using this a little differently than what they intended it for because of course they talk about a movie or TV series. So I'm going to say go ahead create my cork board. And you see in the background it has a, a cork board and it gives you a, a, a sample first uh, grouping here. These little uh, strips of paper looks like uh, across the top are the groups and then you have cards underneath. So what you can do is, so I've got three um, topics that I want to cover in this presentation. So I'm going to edit this first group and I'm going to say, so the first topic I want to cover with the executives is what is the opportunity out there in the marketplace? And uh, then the next topic that I need to cover is uh, what's our service actually going to be? And then finally um, is about the financials. So, um, you know, is this going to be profitable? So now what I can do is, is I've, I've say here are the topics of my presentation. What are the specific points that I need to make under each? And that's where each of these note cards comes in. So I'm going to edit this particular note card that they've set up for me. And so in the title of the note card, this is where we write what is the point that we need to make. So the point here that I, the first point I want to make is um, that the size of the market is large. So this is a very large market, this is why we should go after it. Now in each of the details here, um, it goes on and on, so I'm just going to replace this. Here's where I would describe what visual am I going to use to back up or what supporting information am I going to give to back up this point. So what I'm going to do is, is a, a graph of market growth uh, over last five years, let's say. Now, one of the other things you can do with these cards is you can actually add an image to the card if you want to. Um, so to do that, um, what I would do is I would double click on the card and you notice here, now you can add in notes, um, but you can also add an image. So when you add an image, you can either take an image from one that you've already saved on your computer or your tablet or your phone or take a new one. And so uh, what I did uh, in one of the other uh, cork boards that I did is I actually um, just took a photo of something I'd sketched on a napkin with my iPad and added it in right here. So to get back to our overall cork board, you use the home button here and it takes us back. So now I can add another card and this one um, the other thing about the opportunity is, is there are a few competitors. And how am I going to prove that? What proof am I going to offer? Uh, I'm going to show a table of the firms uh, and their current offerings. So that's the two points. This is just a very simple example. And then under the service, I can add a card. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, our position in the market so what is it that we're going to offer and in terms of the visual I'm going to use a quad chart um, to compare to the current offerings you know I can't type all that well sometimes so that's the first point I want to make and the second point I want to make under our services we've done a customer survey so what I want to do is, is I, I'm going to have some stats to show uh, the demand from our customers for this. 
and so that's the two that I want under our service and under financial I add a card here and uh, key thing here is it's a positive return on investment so in the description let's say I've got a couple things that I want to use here as my support so one uh, I'm going to show a spreadsheet of uh, the cost so they know what is this going to cost us to get into this market and then two uh, I'm showing a graph of profitability uh, over next five years let's say so you can have more than one just put one two and then final card here is request approval so what I've done is is I've used Amazon's storyboard tool to create an outline for my presentation I can now uh, manage in a number of ways a couple of other things that are kind of interesting here is you have this drawer if you click open drawer what it does is it allows you to put cards you're not really sure maybe where they're gonna go just put the cards in the in the drawer and then you can pull them out at any time or if you say gee you know maybe we're not gonna include this but I don't want to delete it I want to lose it just put it in the drawer and then when you're done you simply close the drawer very easy to do that you can uh, under some of these other ones con you can send to other contributors manage it here's where you can um, add contributors in terms of inviting people to have their input on your outline of your presentation so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this tool but I just want to show you a quick demo of how you can use Amazon storyboard tool which is a free tool and create an outline for your presentation so it's nice it's visual you see everything you can move things around you just drag the the cards around if I wanted to move this one down here oh no it really should go over here very easy to uh, move it around up and down you can see how easy that was to move around so check out this tool I think it's going to be valuable when you are outlining your presentation this has been Dave Parody of thinkoutsidetheslide.com